As you can see, Bendigo is turned on its best weather today. Beautiful blue sky. Uh, it's the Australia Day public holiday here. Uh, so no work today. So we might do a couple of hours in the shed and have a bit of a look around and at the projects and see what we're up to. Uh, we'll do a little bit on the 350 Velo and the engine plates and gearbox plates. Uh, it's coming along very well. I've um, I actually made a few bits before I started these videos. Uh, I've only been doing this for a couple of weeks, so I had a bit of a plan in mind. So what you see might be a little bit fast forward on what I said was coming up, but uh, I should be able to put some photos in and see how we go. Thanks. This is our Magpie Jakey. He's part of the Hagen factory. He comes in the in the shed, in the workshop, and pinches rags and walks around and sits on everything and craps on everything. Uh, he comes in every day for something to eat. He does in the mornings and in the evening. You call him. Pretty friendly. He's been in the house a couple of times, wandering around. But uh, he's always here. Right, so what I've done here is I've manufactured some plates just out of some plywood. I've got some photos of this, I'll put them up as well. Now, this has been a little bit of hard work because uh, we've never actually had a Hagen with a uh, MacVelo Mac uh, gearbox in it before. We've never actually run a standard gearbox. So we've got um, a lot of these different plates which will be offset to help fit the clutch in and to help sort out the drive line issues. I've already put these across into aluminium. So what I'll do is I'll bolt the gearbox in. I don't actually have the clutch here, but once the gearbox is bolted into those plates, you'll be able to see what the issues are. Right, so what we got is the 350 Velocet Mac engine that my father Alan built. Uh, Dad's been involved in these engines before I was born, so he's been working on it for a long time. He's got a fair bit of stock and he's managed to build this very nice engine out of uh, stock and machined a lot of parts, uh, push rods and uh, the push rod tube, made that up so it doesn't leak. Uh, it's got a triumph piston in it and a lot of other gear, but we'll have a chat to him about it and he can tell us what he's done. Now, I've said about the final drive line up and all that, but the whole problem with fitting a Velocet engine into a Hagen is they're very skinny in the crankcases. So, uh, well, I'll just show you. What have we got here? We've got... Uh, uh, what have we got? So we've got about, uh, I've had about 52 mil, close enough to 52 mil, yeah. 53 mil on the mount there. Now let's go and have a look at the Weslake, which bolted straight in and see what the crankcase is on that. So I've just got a bit of a roughy here, so we're about 84 mil. So we've got a fair bit of difference there. And let's have a quick look at the clutch. Now this is the Godden two-speed box, but I'm just going to use this as a bit of an example. Now on the Vela set, and this is what I keep talking about, the final drive, the lineup issue we've got. The primary on the Vela runs inboard and the sprocket runs on the outside, the outside here. Uh, it's only a very skinny clutch, but with, I've had to move the engine, uh, the gearbox across, and the engine across a little bit. And then on the other frame, I'm about 20 mil out from the sprocket to the rear sprocket. So I've got to make a spacer for the rear sprocket as well. Right, so I think I've confused everyone with the Velocet build today in the Hagen. So let's have a look at something that everyone would probably know about. Uh, pretty standard sort of a Hagen. Now, it's a Yamaha DT250. Uh, my father built the engine on this one too. He loves building the engines. So uh, we'll take you out there and we'll have a look around. He's got engines all over the benches at the moment, but uh, we might do that in the next video. We'll give him a bit of an interview. 
Uh, it's got YZ internals as much as we could do. Uh, pretty standard sort of carby, couple of jet sizes up. Uh, then standard, just running on normal pump fuel. Now this bike is a bit of an odd one. It's got the larger backbone and twin down tube. It's actually uh, made for a Bull Taco 360. Now we, I did have a look around and say the old man for a 360 and it's not up there in price and um, nothing really local at the minute. So I was at the local Hydro Blasters, Craig, and he's on uh, YouTube as well, um, video hydro blasting. And I was quizzing him about it and uh, he came up with the DT motor, which he'd already blasted and he did a great deal on that. So we grabbed that and uh, just ordered new bearings, clutch plates, piston, just all your standard sort of gear, all your seals, put that together. Now, oh, the actual bike, it was local as well. It was just a roller. I'll put some photos up of that. Came from a mate called John. Uh, John's right into this Hagen thing. He's been doing it forever. He's still got his original Hagens. Now, the next thing we needed was a pipe. Um, so, I spoke to a mate who's only about five k's from here and he happened to have a pipe so it was off a dt he thought it might have been off a 400 um but it fits beautiful works quite well on this setup i'm not sure it's a 400 or 250 but uh it's ours now uh, we'll turn the bike around we'll have a look at the other side uh the old mudguard that's the original mudguard off the 500 velo uh, got that off Kerry Marsh in South Australia. He said the dirt track gods would get me for taking the mudguard off the Valo and putting it on the Yamaha, but uh, it all seems good so far, so we'll see how we go. Now, the other thing odd with this bike, it's got a, a factory 21 inch front wheel with a cam pack hub. Uh, it's got all Hagen foot pegs, it's got the Hagen mechanical caliper on the rear which uh, is pretty useless uh, it's got Hagen hubs Hagen hub on the rear you put this year I put some shocks on it I made the muffler here in house um, that's the pipe that we got off Terry now the seat that was off the valo that we're putting the 350 in um, the Hagen we're putting the 350 in. I took the seat off it because we're actually selling the bike. Made all new mounts, put it on here, and then decided to keep the bike. So now I have to make all new mounts again and go through all that rubbish, but uh, that's my own fault. Um, what else have we got on this thing? It's just a good old standard bike, really. Just put some rental bars on it the other day. Can't wait to have a ride. Hope I didn't confuse too many people with the Valiset setup. As the build comes along, I'm sure you'll understand a bit more. Uh, I've done a bit of work on the 250 Yamaha Hagen and the 500 Velocet Hagen. Getting ready for next weekend. Just a bit of a ride day over at Broadford. Uh, there's a few Bendigo blokes heading over. Uh, so that'll be a bit of fun. Uh, so hopefully I'll get a bit of footage there. And um, Russell Owen will bring over the Ray Owen Hagen and we'll get a bit of footage of that. And the first run of the Valet 500, it's... Um, it's been a whole lot of hype, but we haven't had much luck so far. It always lets us down. The Magneto let us down at Broadford last year, but it's up and running, so we'll see how it goes. So I appreciate everybody watching these videos, and if you want to keep following us, like and subscribe. And I'm not sure about next week's video, whether we'll get to get another one out on Sunday night, because uh, it's Sunday over at Broadford. But I will do my best, otherwise it'll be Monday, Tuesday at the latest, but I think Monday at this stage. Thank you.